Tanjiro successfully defeated Yahaba, but the vanquished demon, enraged and sensing his imminent demise, unleashed a flurry of arrows at Tanjiro, sending him flying. Tanjiro countered the barrage with a relentless series of water technique moves, neutralizing the arrow's speed and direction. Exhausted from the prolonged battle, Tanjiro's body ached from the strain of performing so many techniques in quick succession. Finally, Yahaba succumbed, and the arrows vanished, leaving Tanjiro panting heavily. Unable to even wield his katana, Tanjiro forced himself to crawl towards Nezuko and Yeshiro, who were engaged in a fierce battle with Susamaru. Susamaru hurled her ball at Yashiro. But Nezuko easily deflected it with a kick. Nezuko appeared significantly stronger after receiving the antidote from Tamiyo. The two engaged in a fierce exchange of kicks, battling over the ball. Realizing that Nezuko would not be able to defeat Susamaru for long, Tamiyo intervened, tricking Susamaru into shouting Muzan's name. A large demonic hand emerged from Susamaru's body, crushing her head and instantly killing her. As the sun began to rise, Tameo led Nezuko into the house basement, followed by Yashiro. Tameo informed Tanjiro that she was leaving the district due to Muzan's discovery of her presence. She suggested that Nezuko stay with her, as traveling with Tanjiro was too dangerous. However, Tanjiro decided to keep Nezuko by his side, recognizing his responsibility to protect her. Tanjiro and Nezuko then continued their journey southeast, heading towards Tanjiro's next mission. And that concludes this episode of Demon Slayer. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And if you really want to show some love, check out the video description for details on how to support the channel. Until next time.